we have done installing the virtual box oracle virtual box and now we will install the free pbx on the virtual box so let's open my oracle free pbx sorry oracle uh, virtual box uh, yes so now uh, i have some installed before or uh, because this is my server so i have many things installed let's install a uh, fresh free pbx so go to the new and gave a name free P pbx for example, free PBX one. I don't have one here. So free PBX and free PBX two. So free PBX one. Then, <clears throat> so make it uh, Linux and make it uh, other Linux 64 bit. And you can keep the machine folder as it is. So whatever it has, so we can keep it and then go to the next next and i would recommend you to change these at least uh 2 gb two gb and then go to the next or click next and then the create a virtual hard disk now create then uh vdi or vmdk so let's select the vmdk then next now already allocated and the fixed size so dynamically allocated or the fixes select the dynamically allocated then next now here uh you can i would recommend again so use at least the 50 gb or more so I'm not doing that because I already have the two and I have more uh, virtual machines. So I don't uh, want to give more. Maybe I will not, I, I'll use later, but I would recommend you at least the 50 GB to use here to increase this to the 50 GB. Okay. So the create, uh, let me use at least make it 20 now, 20. So in your case, I would suggest to make it at least uh, 50 GB. Okay, so create. Okay, so the free PBX uh, one, so which is created. So then we will do start and then we'll see uh, how we, we need to configure more things. So now go to your free PBX and go to settings and within the settings, go to storage. And I would suggest you before go to the network, make it bridge adapter. And then um, general, PPBX advance make it bi-directional and then um, go to the storage and from here you need to select where is the the free PBX one you downloaded so so this one is the one so I want to select it then click okay click okay so now so we actually uh showed change some configurations in the settings and also showed the path where actually your uh, free pbx you download it right so then we will start the free pbx and we will see how we can configure some other steps okay so now free pbx one click to the start button start so click start so
uh, it's here. So from here, so you can from here we have uh, multiple options. So, but again, I would suggest you for the recommended one. So the free PBX uh, 15 installation. So use the aesthetic 16 recommended and. Oh, you, we selected the free PBX aesthetic version 16 recommended and then out of out of the the options we can select the graphical installation and the first one so select this then the free PBX standard free PBX standard select it and then it will doing some of its process. So wait a couple of minutes. To complete the required installation. Okay, so now, so now we need to configure the root password. So we have to configure the root password. So if we click, click the root password, so it will give us, so root password. So for example, something simple just to remember now, mm, let's, just make sure okay yes so now done so again done so you have to it twice done so now it will take some time to install everything So wait. So let's wait until it finished the installation, and then we'll advance. So let me keep it pause so that uh, we, we can avoid this extra time. So let's keep it installed. And when it is an installation done, I will again make it, uh, I'll resume it. So make it. 
Now your installation is complete. So the complete and it says the successfully installed and uh, ready for you to use. So let's reboot. Reboot. <clears throat> so the free PBX is uh, installed and booted. And your IP address, so remember the IP address. So IP address is 10.0.0.211. So let me take a note. 10.0.0.211. <clears throat> now, so one thing we need to do is stop the firewall. So the the command to do that in the lab statement, you you can find that. And I am also uh, doing that now. So system system CTL then disable disable then IP tables IP tables and one more thing is system uh, stop stop IP tables. So firewall is stop. Let's see, can we open this in from the browser? Mm -hmm. So ten dot zero dot zero dot two one one. So the free PBX is installed. So initial setup. So here we have to provide the username and the password. So in the previously the your the username and password, username was root and password the one you provided. Now you can again set up the your administrator user. So to do that. You can also check the the report. I mean the lab statement. So here uh, you will find that how to do that in the step ten. So username, for example, I given username is Kazi, and password is something very simple. simple mean like for the test purpose so that's why i'm saying the simple but in the production you have to do it uh something more comp com complex more so that the people doesn't very easily guess it so you need to give the username then the password then the confirm password and i think uh, the notification email if you want you can this so let's me use this is my notification email and system identifier and automatic module so that's it so the then you can go to the Mm -hmm. the setup system C 
set up system. So now, then, then let me get my username. So now it brings you to the new screen and which is saying the free PBX administrator or user control. So we'll go to the administrator. So click the administrator and you can also find a step by step in the in the um, your uh, lab statement. So administrator, so you can give your name and password. Continue. So now skip. 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 So you are now in the main menu of the your um, free PBX. So free PBX is installed. Okay. So you successfully installed the free PBX. And then the next step is to the all other configuration for connecting to the your um, phones and all of this. And then, so you can also find that step by step in the free in the lab document. So first, so the sound English and the language is English. Go submit to the above. Okay, not now. Not now. So now you can find the applications extensions. So as I said, so I have I don't have any extension. So we can create some extensions. So again, if you go to your um, lab statement, you can also see that. So the click. Uh, go to the extension and then on the extension here, add extension. So click to the add extensions and then go to the add extension and here add new SIP, add new SIP extensions. So click here. So it will ask, bring you the new page. And here you have to give your um, information, so related information. So, so let, let's um, give the value. So for example, user extension. So user extension like uh, 1001, first extension, then the display name. Display name, uh, for example, what we can give the display name. Mm, let's give the DC extension one. Okay. Then, um, then the next thing you need to give it is the uh, secret that means the password here you have to give a password so again password here and then also the password in the bottom so you can see like in my uh, demo or oh, sorry lab uh, document also password here Password for
No. Mm, yeah, you can you can uh, use the custom and give the same thing so that like D C extension one and then give the password the same password in the secret. Okay, and then um, submit. And submit. So your um, extension one is created. Okay. Now when extension one is created, so you have to apply config so apply config every time you do anything you have to do the apply config so this is done so the one is created okay Okay, so uh, this is another uh, Linux VM. So in this Linux VM, uh, we will install the um, one of the soft phone and we, we will install the soft phone, the lean phone and see how we can install. So this is very simple. So you need to go to the command terminal. So open a terminal and within the terminal. So in the, in the lab document, I already uh, give you the the commands so how can you install this so the first one you can see that as sudo apt search then lean phone So it will show you the which uh, lean phone is installed or not. So now you can do the install it. sudo apt install lean phone. Lean phone. So it's installing the lean phone installation. So it will not much time, it will not take much time. So within a couple of minutes, it will finish the installation. So installation is done. So if you go here, you will see your applications. You can find the lean phone is installed. So click the lean, lean phone. So this is the window. So the same window I you can find into the document, lab document. So here. So now within this, so if you go again, if you look at the lab document, so you it asks to go to the options and within the options preference. And here within the preference, so let's make it bigger. Make it a little smaller. So I'll make it full screen so it will help me. So here you can click the add, so add, and within the add, so again, if you look at your uh, screen in the, in, in the lab document, so you can find that. So first one is your SIP identity, your SIP identity. So here you have to write first your extension number 1001, 
then add and then the IP address of your free PBX. So in our case, the free PBX IP address is 10.0.0.211. And then the port number is 5060. And the, the C proxy, you can use the same as a C proxy. So that means, um, 10.0.0.211 and here we don't need to configure anything else so then the user id and your password so here so now your um, SIP phone registration is done with um, PBX. So if you look at this green button, you can find the online. Then uh, you can look at in your free PBX. So open the free PBX and application. So if you, if you are in the extension, so this is the extensions what we created 1001 and if you go to the report and asterisk info, then you can find, okay, this your this is in the online. So your uh, SIP phone, uh, which is the lean phone, it's actually registered with this uh, free PBX. Uh, so now we install the another, um, soft phone uh, which is the joyper so joyper installation is in progress so let me finish it and then we'll also uh, configure the joyper so the Joyper installation is done. So if you see it here, Joyper is installed. So now we'll configure the Joyper also. Okay. Now, before uh, configuring your uh, Jifer, uh, so let's go to again the PBX and create another another um, extension. So application, then extensions. So add extensions, then the SIP. So user extension consider one zero zero two, then display name for example what we said the DC extension two secret password then here user name. DC two password then submit. So we have created another extension one zero zero two apply. So now let's go to the Joyper and continue a free user. So now in the Joyper, here we can give the extension 002. Let me check 
our extension we created one is 1002 so 1002 and password then login then here 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 2 on one which is the um, IP address of the PBX so next then optional skip okay so now uh, we are we have um, our uh, free pbx is running then the ubuntu is running and i installed the two soft phone one is lean phone and one is the joypad and if you, you go to our free pbx graphical user interface you can see both are online 1001 and 1002 now let's try to call from lean phone to the job one zero zero two so it's ringing right so when we are calling from the lean phone to the Joyper, so it's ringing. So this is basically your um, lab five. Okay, and we will also discuss in the in the class more. So in the lab session.